For over 40 years, the League of Volunteers in Newark is a nonprofit that has been tirelessly striving to improve the community of the Tri City area. We're about promoting volunteerism in the community. We do the best we can. We, we help uh, the needy. They, they help where they can. And, you know, we do have certain programs where we do have, that go year round with Adopt a Family, Thanksgiving. Where there's a need in the community, uh, we try to fill it with. Um, volunteers uh, to bring that, you know, fill the gap. They really try to help people to to feel like they deserve to be loved. And I think that's what's really amazing about um, their thought processes and how they, they work to help other people. Over the years, they have developed many programs to do the best they can to help the community. Some of the events they host are their year-round emergency food pantry, annual toy drives, Thanksgiving meals, art programs in schools, scholarships, and several free services and events to help those in need every year. You hear about different um, programs that they have, like they just did something for Thanksgiving. We have a food bank program where we offer a box of food of 25 items, uh, non-perishables, uh, that they can pick up once a month. We used to do a lunch program and then we now we provide snacks in the morning because some of the kids come in the morning and they haven't eaten anything yet. But that's not all they do. Every year they help vulnerable families who are experiencing difficult times and help make their holidays magical. So they would go online and a family who's signed up and given their information, um, you could, they could say like, hey, I'd like to adopt this family. And then they would go through their wish list and bring all their gifts. And I believe they're going to have them here by the 20th. And then those gifts will be given to the families. And so if the families are not adopted, we get the families together, we find out the ages of their kids and make sure that the kids have a toy and a turkey and some food so they can have a, a Christmas dinner and have uh, presents under the tree. So. And it, um, it makes the world of difference. And it's not about, you know, a big quantity of toys. It's just so that they can give something to their kids at Christmas. It's not too late to join the Adopt-A-Family event. The League of Volunteers are still accepting applications for families to be adopted and sponsors to help families in need. The last day to adopt is next Monday, December 12th, and the adopted families can expect their gifts on or before December 20th. They are also accepting donations, especially non-perishable food, to help continue growing their food pantry. So we can always use donations, especially food. They accept a wide range of donations, such as non-perishable foods, clothes, toys, and many other contributions. However, time can be even more invaluable. To maintain their work for the community, they need volunteers to continue making a difference. They have many events, projects, and services to serve their community throughout the year. So if you go to the website and you click on the volunteer button, you can sign up and, um, and there's definitely places where you can volunteer. I would also like to get more younger volunteers to come in and, um, and have them come in because we do have a lot of older volunteers that maybe can't help as much or you know they're, they're very passionate about it but they can't move around as well. And so if we got some younger volunteers with the same passion, we can keep this organization going. We run with a great group of volunteers. We have probably two to 300 very active volunteers. I want it to be that place where volunteers want to come and hang out and do things and they, and, and they want to be around each other, not because they have to, because, it's because they want to. To join the Adopt-A-Family event, give donations, or volunteer, you can visit love.org. On the website, you can learn more about the League of Volunteers and how you can donate your resources to a good cause. I think it's just neat having organizations like League of Volunteers because um, a lot of times I think the human nature is to turn inward and to focus on ourselves. But um, League of Volunteers, is, as well as other charitable organizations, they help us to just turn outward and focus on the needs of others. I feel like everybody should give back. In, you know, your family, of course, comes first, and then your community. Come on down, volunteer, right? It's always a good time, and it's always fun to help people. And uh, we do our best. I'm in a position right now where I can help, and I would love to help. I'm Rebecca Twyman, reporting for Ohlone Tri-City News.